Okay, Cody. So uh, I got better on uh, on top today, watching you wrestle. But um, good top stuff today. You know, um, you're here showing technique. Guys are looking for Naval Academy guys. You can't recruit every guy. You know, that's I talked to everybody. I talked to at the academies. You can't recruit every guy. What are you looking for in a little snapshot here? What, what are you guys looking for in recruiting? A little snapshot, so we kind of cast a big net to start out with and kind of see what the interest is from there. And something like this, you know, uh, Cliff does a good job of giving us a lot of information about the kids, so we kind of look at their grades and look at their wrestling accomplishments. Um, but the biggest thing we start out with is grades, looking at test scores and GPA and stuff like that. And then from there, you know, we kind of have a better idea of who we want to go after. So what happens, you come here and you just see a guy that you're like, oh man, we need that guy, that guy can win for Navy. And then you get the the, the, te the transcripts, the test scores, and it's just not where it is. You guys do have a little room to work with something like that, with like NAPS, right? Right, we do have a little bit of room. So we have a prep school, it's up in Rhode Island, Newport, Rhode Island. So right now our coach is Mike Letts. He does a great job, All-American from Maryland. Uh, he's been there for a few years now. So um, yeah, it's, it's not cut and dry. You know, there's no concrete numbers or anything like that. But, you know, we do have some room with the prep school. And uh, the prep school is something that you would do. You go there a year, and then after that year, then you would come to the academy. Favorite thing about working with kids, you know, today, I, I mean, you're an excellent teacher. I told you that. I've been doing it for over a decade, and uh, you're pretty good at it. So uh, what's your favorite thing about coming here and working with kids? Uh, just teaching them something new, uh, little things, you know, like they've probably seen a cross wrist and a roll through tilt and stuff, just showing them little things that I do different, and then all of a sudden it's kind of like that eureka moment, and they, they figure out that they can do it differently, and just teaching them stuff and showing them stuff that works for me, and then seeing them make it work for them, you know, putting their own little twist on it, they have to, but just seeing that eureka moment and saying, oh yeah, this is kind of cool and it, it works for me too. What do you guys ultimately, when you cast that, that wide net, you know, and then you narrow down, you narrow down, you narrow down, how many guys can you guys bring in a year? Uh, there's, there's again, no concrete number for that, but we typically bring in six to eight kids uh, for prep school and then six to eight kids direct into the academy. So typically our freshman class or plebe class, uh, about 12 kids on average. You have to sell a Naval Academy at all to anyone. Is that ever even a thing you ever even think of doing? I mean, once we get them on campus, it's a pretty easy sell. I mean, you're getting a paycheck while you're there. Um, you've got a guaranteed job for five years after you graduate. It's a pretty easy sell once we educate people about them, about the academy, and, and you know, show them all the benefits of being there. Being well-rounded is like the thing there. It, you know, it's it's core classes. Are, there's never a semester off at the Naval Academy can't miss classes. It's demanding. You know, what do you say to guys that are on the fence about how demanding it is? I mean, you kind of know what you're getting into. I mean, any college should be demanding. You should push yourself no matter what college you go to. So that's one thing we tell the kids. Like, we're really upfront about everything, and we want them to know what they're getting into for coming into the academy. I mean, you shouldn't be missing classes anyways and all that good stuff. So there's, there, you know, it's still college, and, you know, we expect the same out of our guys as probably any college would expect. Okay, how long is the trip back to Maryland? Uh, it's like three and a half, four hours. Tell me about the phone. The, give me a conversation between you and Angle. I want to hear it. What do you guys talk about? Conversation? Yeah. Um, probably about how much better my hair is than his. Like, <laughs> not hard. Not yeah, hard. That's, that's an easy conversation to have. So. All right, man. You got anything else for me? Uh, no, man. I appreciate everything you do. You put out good content. So. Thanks, man. Do this. Well, we're going to be watching all your techniques, so yeah, uh, keep I an hope, eye out I for it, man. I hope I did do a good job teaching them. <laughs> it was really good. You'll see what I'm talking about. Hey, thanks for the time. Yeah, thank you.